welcome back to my channel and welcome to another installment of Booklist Thursday. Every week, usually on a Thursday, I try to share a video with you that has to do with a book list because book lists are one of my favorite things to peruse. I love going through a list of books that someone else has curated and seeing how many of the books I've read and Booklist Thursday, I share with you a list. I share a list with you <laughs> and I challenge you to tell me how many of the books you've read. So today's list is about books that have something to do with animals. Some of them have animals in the title, some of them have animals in the plot. Some of them are animal related, but you may not know that immediately from just like picking up the book because animals are included kind of alongside the rest of the plot. So the theme for today's list is inspired by a couple of trips that I took recently. A um, few weeks ago, my husband and my daughter and I went to the zoo and we saw all the animals and it was fantastic. And it was a little surprising because I'd been to the zoo several years ago and I never thought that the next time I went to that zoo, I'd be back with <laughs> my husband and my child. I mean, guys, I don't know if you understand how surprised I am that this is my life. But then this past weekend, we were able to go to an agricultural fair and see some more animals, different animals. And this had more of a petting zoo kind of feel. So we were able to touch those animals and feed them and it was just fantastic. And so it had me thinking about books that had animals. And so I'll insert some clips and some video of us with the animals. Oh, here are some books that have to do with animals. We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler has something to do with a chimpanzee. See the little chimpanzee on the front? But I can't tell you the, the story until you've read the book. You have to read the book. You have to read the book for yourself. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. Um, Pi, whose name is Piscine. <laughs> um, his family owns a zoo in India um, before he takes the trip that becomes the story. So that's not surprising. The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Um, oh, I should be telling you, I've read these two so far. The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. I bought this beautiful copy um, at the beginning of the year. I think I haven't yet read it though. So this is a story by Franz Kafka. It also has other stories in this edition, but the metamorphosis is about a man and a transformation into an insect. Is that what happens in that book? Um, yeah, but yeah, about insects. And Mouse, which is a memoir by Art Spiegelman, has animals being used in place of people kind of to show or make a parody of some of the characteristics of humans. So this one has animals. Then there's Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley, which has octopus in the title. So that's not so much of a surprise, right? But the octopus is not the animal. Yeah. Have you read this one? I have. Then there's a story of Edgar Sawtell by David Roblowski, which I buddy read with Patrice. This was my first buddy read with Patrice Jones. Hi, Patrice. I know you're watching. <laughs> and we both really, really love this book. Well, maybe I loved it a little bit more, but it tells the story of a boy and his dogs because he's growing up on a dog breeding farm. But it really encapsulates the relationship between a boy and his dog or a boy and his dogs. And it goes so far as to have some narration being done by one of the dogs and it's it's fantastic it's a really heartwarming story um so yeah this has this has an animal in it so of those i've read all but one so here's some other titles that i haven't yet read black beauty by anna sewell which is about a horse i haven't read it as an adult i think i read it as a child but maybe an abridged version i wouldn't count it so i'll tell you i haven't read the story because i also don't remember what it's about the tears of the giraffe by alexander mccall smith is the second book in the number one ladies detective agency series did i get all of those words strung together correctly i haven't yet read the book i read the first in the series and it wasn't this one obviously so i haven't read it then there's all the pretty horses by cormac mccarthy which i think may have a similar plot about a a boy and his horse and the the lens that he's willing to go to defend his animal something like that um, haven't yet read that one the bees by Laleen Paul I have read I used to own a copy I just recently gave it away I just I feel so proud of saying oh I gave a book away 
but I did give that book away recently. And that was really interesting because it was personal, it was personifying the activity of bees in a colony and I thought it was a really fascinating story, but also one that I didn't think I was going to reread, which is why I gave my copy away. But I'd recommend that you try it. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams may just have cat in the title. I'm not sure of the plot of this play. It's a play, right? But yeah, um, it has a cat. It has an animal in the title, so it, it's on this list. Then there's Flowers for Algernon, which has something to do with a boy and something to do with a mouse and the testing that's being done to try to improve the lives of one at the expense of the other, I think. I read that book a long time ago. But yeah, it has, a, it has an animal as a central part of the plot. Come Thou Tortoise by Jessica Grand is a title that I just came across as I was doing research for this video. Yeah, I do do research for these videos. Um, and I don't know too much about the story, but I was a little intrigued by what I did read of it. So I put it on my TBR list. So let me know if you've read it and if you think that I should. <laughs> Consider the Lobster by David Foster Wallace may just be, this is a collection of essays, I think, and it may just have a lobster in that one essay, but I think it fit for this, for this list. So let me know if you've read that one. And Flaubert's Parrot by Julian Barnes. Julian Barnes has been nominated. I think this book was nominated for the Booker and he won the Booker Prize for Sense of an Ending, which... I thought was really really good but I haven't read this one Flaubert's Parrot is about someone trying to find I don't know it's about taxidermy is it I think let me know if you've read these books there are 15 books on this list would love to know what your score is what's mine I have read one two three four five six seven Okay, so there are 15 books on this list and I've read seven. So those are 15 titles of books that have something to do with animals, whether animals in the title or animals as a central part of the plot. Let me know how many of these books you've read. I've read seven. As usual, my score is under 50%. No surprise there, but would love to know what you thought about this list. Yeah, let's chat about animals in the comments down below. Until we come back for another video, happy reading. Bye!